So now I'd like to introduce the Honorable Ms. Mabarka Mu Bu Bueda, thank you, Bueda, Minister Delegate to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation of the Kingdom of Morocco and Representative of the Minister of Finance. Thank you. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, I will say that, I mean, in order to, um, to guarantee uh, sustainable growth in Africa, as everybody said before, uh, Africa is the opportunity, Africa is the future. Uh, growth is, is, um, is in Africa right now. But definitely what we see also in Africa is that there is very few correlation between growth and employment and quality of life in general. And that's why I think we need to talk about reforms, about structural reforms. I would say maybe uh, I would try to talk about three main points. First one is the structural reforms. Second one is structural investments. And third one is partnership. As, uh, all, uh, as uh, Mr. Minister said before and uh, President Mahama said also, it's very important uh, to um, guarantee uh, a coherent business environment for investors. And that's why stability and security first are very important. We should guarantee stability and security. And we guarantee that through structural reforms, political reforms mainly. I won't uh, speak a lot about political re reforms. We all know what we need in terms of good governance, in terms of independent judiciary system, in terms of strengthening uh, political institutions, in terms also of uh, social development, training, uh, adapting uh, education and training for market needs, and so on. Second point, which is very important, is structural investment. We need to give more uh, visibility, and we need to give a clear vision for investors. And that's why it's very important to invest, uh, to, to, um, uh, to enhance public investment first, and uh, to design or to identify uh, sectorial strategies. By starting, of course, by infrastructure. We need to build an infrastructure. Given the example of Morocco, we've been building Moroccan infrastructure, national infrastructure for years in terms of highways, in terms of harbors, uh, in terms of logistical platforms, but also in terms of finance, building a financial platform. It's very important by opening uh, a, stock, a local and national stock exchange, by also uh, thinking about uh, a regional financial hub that we call Casablanca Finance City, which uh, is supposed to be uh, a, an African hub, but also a regional hub, taking into account Moroccan geographical position as a, a country, as a gate of Africa, but also as a, a country very close to Europe, as a country that, all, that also uh, have signed different uh, free trade agreements with different countries all over the world. Uh, it's also important to talk about other sectorial strategies. Someone asked about youth and about the future, and Morocco have adopted what we call uh, an emergent plan, which is a new economic plan to identify new sectors for Moroccan economy and not to be only dependent on agriculture. Of course, agriculture is very important for us, is one of the main sectors for Morocco, and we have uh, in, uh, invested and we, start, we are investing in modernizing agriculture, but we're developing different other sectors such as offshoring and outsourcing. Outsourcing, we're having now more than 400,000 uh, jobs in outsourcing. Uh, we're developing a new car industry and uh, the main export sector this year in Morocco uh, has to be the car industry. We're also investing in, uh, in uh, aeronautic industry and also, of course, in new other industries such as uh, pharmaceutical industry and so on. It's very important to have such a vision. I think this is re the, the real way to uh, enhance productivity and then to maintain and to guarantee uh, sustainable uh, growth. The third part and the third point is partnership. It's very important to talk about partnership. First, it's a public private partnership, it's important. And that's why public investments and uh, public state, I mean state in public investments, it's very important and it has to be very high in order uh, to uh, uh, attract private investment. 
It's also very important to see a partnership with uh, sovereign wealth funds between, I mean, to have a partnership between public and uh, public funds and uh, SWF, SW funds also. Uh, it's uh, also, I mean, I just give some examples. In Morocco, for example, we have created a new fund of uh, what, you, what we call Moroccan fund for, for tourism development. It's a public fund, it's about 3 billion euros right now, and uh, th we're signing different partnership with sovereign wealth funds also to uh, realize new projects in tourism in Morocco. We're also hosting uh, the head office, of the headquarter of the um, Africa Fund 50 in Casablanca Finance City, that I, 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 which I spoke before about. And we're trying, as a regional hub, to promote a triangular cooperation, which means we're trying to work with other countries, with other SWF or countries, in order to go together in other countries in the, re in the region, mainly in Western Africa. And we have an experience because we have promoted 10 years ago what we call national champions, which is Moroccan companies that are now uh, present in other countries in Africa through joint ventures, through uh, local branches and so on. And uh, somehow we're really, uh, we have now uh, one of the biggest uh, financing and bank network in Africa through Moroccan banks. Uh, we're present also through in, in housing, in mining, in telecommunication, in media and other sectors. So I think it, it's very important to, to talk about partnership uh, for, for this point. Thank you. Thank you. I have to thank you for bringing um, those three variables back into the equation. It reminds me, many years ago when I worked three blocks from here managing $50 billion for Chase Manhattan Bank in 110 countries. And of course, when we look to where we can really invest, if we're not looking at those variables, and in particular the correlation between growth and distribution, and standard of living. In fact, if you look in your packets at the Africa Investor Magazine, there's an article on terrorism and terrorism solutions in Africa that I wrote that talks very much how do we preempt the possible problems of tomorrow that could escalate, you know, not just in Africa, but you know, this, this huge issue of growing inequity. So, Thank you for that. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.